The IBM 610 Automatic Decimal Point Computer Introduced in 1957, the IBM 610 was a mobile, general-purpose, vacuum tube computer developed for a wide range of industrial and engineering applications. Since the 610 could be operated by just one person on an interactive basis, it is sometimes referred to as IBM's first personal computer. The principal designer was John Lentz of IBM's Watson Scientific Computing Laboratory at Columbia University. Originally called the Personal Automatic Computer, or PAC, research and design began around 1948. Under contract with IBM, construction of a prototype was underway by 1953 at Consolidated Engineering Corporation in Pasadena by John C. Aldrich and others. Aldrich filed a patent for timing signal generation related to the magnetic rotating drum on April 14, 1955. During this same time period, IBM was continuing development on its larger computers, the 650 and the 700 series. The 610 machine was not brought to market until 1957. Specifications The components of the machine included the keyboard, paper tape punch and reader, wire plug board, typewriter, and the computer CPU itself, which contained the rotating magnetic drum memory. The 610 had 2,604 digits of magnetic drum memory and 84 internal registers of 31 digits each. It was called AutoPoint because it allowed automatic handling of the decimal point within the memory registers. The 610 could take data directly from the keyboard or via punched paper tape. One of the users of the 610 was NASA's Glenn Research Center in Cleveland, Ohio, a designer and developer of innovative technology to advance NASA's missions in aeronautics and space exploration. These NASA photos, taken in May 1960, show 610 operators utilizing the paper tape reader machine. Also notice the sound-absorbing material inside the top cover of the unit, which helped quiet the sound of the tape mechanism. A very unique feature of the 610 was a built-in 2-inch cathode ray tube display. The CRT displayed dots on the screen, representing the presence of data in the memory register being used. There were two rectangular arrays, each 16 points wide by 10 points high. The CRT display was not designed for reading or interpreting the data. User-readable output was produced through the machine's typewriter. The 610 was actually a complex programming machine. It came with a 65-page manual, which was vital to understanding and correctly operating the machine. The 610 sold for $55,000 new and weighed nearly 1,000 pounds. By 1957 standards, this was a small and affordable computer. The 610 was very unique for its time, but it was unable to compete with much faster, more advanced machines. The 610 was discontinued by 1961, although many machines remained in service for years. According to IBM, 180 machines were made. Users of the 610 machine included the following. IBM's 1620 computer, introduced in October 1959, was generally considered a replacement for the IBM 610. The 1620 stayed in production until November 1970.